Hello guys, this is the part 3, the last part of 3 video series about Cursor IDE and using that for Laravel project. In this video we will try to generate filament resources and I will show you whether it's better to do it in terminal, like the official filament documentation suggests, or prompt AI to generate it for us. We will try that in practice. And again, these videos are part of the course about Cursor AI on Laravel Daily. This is the last lesson that I will publish here for free on YouTube. If you want the full course, the link will be in the description below. And today is the final day where you can go and use the coupon RESOLUTION25 to get 40% off yearly or lifetime membership of Laravel Daily. Now, let's go to the video. In this lesson, we will generate filament resources for rooms and room types. So this is what you will see by the end of this lesson. So rooms, room types with forms. So let's begin. And you would be tempted to do that with filament terminal command, make filament resource, room types, or rooms. But let me show you why it is better to do in cursor composer. So let's open cursor composer with command I on the right, and let's start typing at the bottom. I will actually paste the prompt from my notes. Generate filament resource to manage room types, which columns to show, and what to use for certain field in the form. So you type in, in human language, and then it starts generating the resource, so it almost runs the same command. It suggests to run it if you want to. But then it generates the forms and see options here. See columns here. Let it finish and then I will comment what it did better. Then we will just run terminal command. So let's scroll up and see. So default filament pages, nothing really fancy here, but this one. As you can see, it didn't just generate text column for price per night, but also made it money USD by default. Also, it took care about searchable and sortable. I'm not sure if default filament would do that. But more impressive thing is in the form. So in the form for room type, not only it added prefix for dollar and also validation of minimal value, but also added things like rows 3 for text area, like min max value for capacity for size of the room type and also added those options to checkbox list with columns and grid direction that would not be done by terminal command of filament so this is what cursor does adds additional extra things in this case it is done by claude under the hood analyzing typical filament projects in the llm Let's accept all blindly, or not that blindly, I looked at the code. And now if we refresh our page, we see an error. And this is interesting thing about cursor and LLMs in general. Before shooting this course, I was practicing on different projects for at least three to four times, generating resources. And sometimes those LLMs may provide different unexpected answer with the same prompt. So in this case, that unexpected answer was that it didn't generate the filament pages. I asked for filament resource, meaning that there should be pages included, but it didn't generate them. So let's fix that with reprompting. So I'm asking generate default filament pages for room type resource. Submit. And then I generate list room types, create room type, and edit room type. As defaults, we don't need any changes. So this can be done actually in the terminal command maybe. So let's accept all refresh our page and now it works we have room types with the table and those things are added by cursor so dollar sign here searchable and sortable so for example we can search for standard room and then in the form of new room type for example we have these here with checkbox list with two columns generated by cursor also prefix with the dollar sign and also three rows in the text area of description with a few more validation rules on top so whether to use terminal or cursor to generate filament resource, in this case, it comes with mixed emotions. So cursor added some features, but also forgot to generate the pages. So always, always double check and review whatever cursor composer has generated. On the other hand, it's pretty easy to fix in most cases by reprompting it if it's something small missing. For comparison, let's try the other way around with terminal. Let's try to generate filament resource for room. So we do have room type resource already, but room and dash dash generate will try to generate the columns from the database. And let's see what happens. So we refresh the page and we see rooms here. But for example, what filament doesn't do, it doesn't convert room type ID, which is a relationship to room type, 
to any name it just shows the number and the same in the form in the new room it doesn't generate select with relationship by default it generates integer field because it's a number or i'm not sure maybe i had to write different code for migration and the model to make it select by filament but in any case let's compare that how would cursor composer do that so in the cursor here let's delete room resource pages and room resource and let's try the same thing with composer in this case let's try to be brief just generate filament resource for room model that's it submit and let's see so you're generating the resource and by the way keep in mind hero icon home is also generated the icon for the menu item which is different from default and see i already see text column room type name so it generated the relationship column and the form field later with select probably should be generated as well without me specifying it this is kind of auto guessing with claude 3.5 sonnet in this case so some comments here and that's it let's see on top the pages of filament are default what i care about is the resource so table in the resource again money and label this would not be done by default filament and then here we have text column with the relationship room type and let's see what the form contains form contains select make let's accept all and now if I refresh the page and go to rooms as you can see room type has name instead of number here also price per night with dollar sign and if we go to new room here also have select here with names so with those two resources of filament i wanted to show you practically the example what happens if you just use terminal commands to generate something with laravel or filament versus if you ask cursor composer to do that again as always double and triple check everything but in most cases cursor composer will suggest you something that you wouldn't even think about sometimes or wouldn't be able to generate with default laravel terminal commands and would need to do that manually in your IDE if you don't use cursor.